Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Knockreiner. Today's story is someone's trying to DDoS the internet. Well, not literally. Really, someone tried to launch a distributed denial of service attack against the domain name service out there. You've probably heard of DNS. This, of course, is the standard that allows uh, computers to translate human readable addresses into the digits of an IP address. And to support DNS, ICANN and organizations around the world have 13 root DNS servers. These are the servers that tell you what other server to go to when you're looking for a particular domain name. And while we call them 13 root servers, the truth is these are probably hundreds of clustered servers to support this infrastructure. And these servers run all around the world, again managed by multiple organizations. In any case, on December 30th and November 1st, an unknown entity launched a DDoS attack against these 13 root servers. And at its peak, the attack generated over 5 million legitimate looking DNS queries a second. And that's a huge amount of traffic, a lot more than the domain name service sees generally, even though it's designed to handle quite a bit of traffic every single day. Now, the good news is this attack wasn't successful. While there might have been some DNS timeouts in local regions, nothing that a normal user would notice. In fact, it kind of proved how robust this big clustered root server architecture is. So DNS survived fine. However, the people that wrote up this incident did say that these attackers, people who have been launching these sorts of attacks over the years, seem to be refining their techniques. By the way, I suspect they probably tried to launch what's called a reflective DNS attack. This is where a bad guy uses something like the UDP protocol to launch a spoofed packet to some server, and that server in return starts to send a bigger amount of traffic to something like the domain name service. One aspect of a reflective attack is it might allow one one attacker that doesn't own a botnet to launch an attack that looks like it's coming from thousands or hundreds of thousands of distributed addresses in the world. As an aside, besides the DNS DDoS attack, bad guys also launched a DDoS that was pretty effective against the Janet Academic Network, which folks in the UK have probably heard of. And on top of that, hacktivists, maybe associated with Anonymous, launched an attack against the Japanese Prime Minister site to kind of protest Japan's whale hunting uh, politics. So there is a lot of DDoS attacks this week. So what can we do about these attacks? Well, you might think that there's nothing you can do to prevent attackers from launching DDoS attacks against other people's sites. But that's not necessarily the case. If the IT community came together, there are ways we can actually mitigate many of the DDoS attack techniques out there, including reflective attacks. There's a standard out there called BCP38. Basically, it's a standard that tells you to prevent spoofed IP addresses from leaving your network. If you run a network, you know the public IP addresses your organization owns. You also know the private networks behind your gateway device. If your gateway device makes sure that no one can pretend to be some other IP address when they leave your network, you can prevent anyone in your network from spoofing IPs for the rest of the world. In fact, if all the telcos and ISPs in the world kind of used BCP38 standard to prevent spoofing of IP addresses, it would make it much harder for bad guys to launch certain types of DDoS attacks. Now the good news is if you own a WatchGuard Firebox, we kind of support this standard by default. We don't allow spoof traffic between our interfaces. But if you own any other network equipment, especially your gateway equipment, you might look into how you can configure it to block spoof traffic from leaving your network. Anyways, that's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.